make your mind more sattvic than your diet. For example, if you eat all the time spicy and all the type, what you can say, the stale food, that can increase your rajasic and tamasic, this type of nature. But sattvic diet is always freshly cooked and balanced diet. Okay. Synonyms of the vyadhi. Vyadhi, disease, illness, rogaha, papma, papma. The papa, papa word is also something misunderstood by the people. Papa, papa is a sin. Sin means bad things that you do. Sin means it is not always that you are uh, what you can inserting the god, inserting the goddess a statue. No, that is nothing. The pap. Pap is the bad things that you are doing in your life, even that are physical bad things or the psychological bad things or even the thinking bad things. Uh, that all these things were the pap. Pap is a sin. Okay, and that is gives you the some problems with your uh, psychosomatic type of illness. Joro, vyadi, vikaro, duk, always painful. Any illness cannot give you the joy. Uh, so this is duk. Amaya is another word for the vyadi. Yakshma, atank, gad, abad, shabdaha, pariyaya vachinaha. Ashtangrude is a vagbat. Vagbat in the this is very clear. These are the synonyms of vyadi. Now vyadi paribhasha, the definitions of disease. How Ayurveda is talking about it. There are the different lines you will read and everything will give you the idea about the disease uh, pathogenesis. Okay. That Dukkha Sanyogo Vyadhya Uchante Sushrut. He says it, Vyadhi is always giving you some pain and trouble. Dukkha, misery. Vikaro Dhatu Vaishamyam. Imbalance. Loss of homeostasis in your body components like Dosh Dhatu Mala. When they are imbalanced, that is called as Vikar, disease. Samyam prakruti uchchate. When there is homeostasis, balance, that is nothing but health. Sukha sadhnyakam arogyam vikaro dukkha mevacha. Sukha is always healthy condition. Rogaha tu dosha vaishamyam. Dosha samyam arogata. So disease is an imbalance. Dosha vaishamya and dosha samyam, homeostasis, balance is arogata, that is healthy condition. Dosha dusha samurchana janito vyadhi. I have already explained this in the first video. So uh, go for the first 15 shlokas, you will understand. Deshpand has explained dosha dusha samurchana. This is a bad combination of prakupita dosha and the weak uh, dhatu and mala. Tathavida dosha dusha samurchana avastha vishesho jvaradi rupo vyadi. Jvara is a representation of the any disease process. Next, naming the vyadi. How you can uh, give the names and is it important that you should able to give the exact labeling of the disease? Ayurveda says not necessary as such. You, if you understand which dosha has been uh, disturbed, prakupita, and which dhatus are affected, which srotas is affected, which mala is affected, whether your mind, mana, atma, indriya are affecting. So all this understanding of samprapti or the pathogenesis is more important than only giving the label. Okay. So vikara naam akushalo najinniya kadachana. Nahi sarva vikara naam namataha asti druhastiti. Nahi sarva vikaranam namatahast. You cannot label each and every patient's condition with some, of course, there are the different names of the diseases that I am not denying, but there are maybe some situations where you cannot exactly give the existing names. So there you have to just understand the dosha dusha samurchana. Tasmat vikara prakriti adhishthan antaranicha samutthana visheshanscha. Buddha, karma samacharit. Karma means management. How you can follow the management, IVD treatment, understanding the vikar. What is abnormal? Prakriti, what is the original condition? Hemoglobin is low, but what is the normal condition? Adhishthan, what is the organ is affected? Antarani, samutthan, where it is created. All these pathogenics, you should understand samprapti, how the disease has been created and start treating it. Then, santarpanotthavyadhi. Ayurveda has explained two types of the diseases, mainly one is apatarpanot and one is a santarpanot. So this is nothing but the malnourishment. One is overnourishment and another is a undernourishment. So this is overnourishment. Because of this, you can get obesity. Because of this, you can diabetes, arthritis, coronary IITD, ischemic heart diseases. All this is a santarpanot vyadi because eating the maza, pizza, tuza, burger, cheese, uh, all this pizza and cheese, this is the important high calorie diet, uh, heavy diet. This is Santarpanotthiyadi. Rogaha Tasyopajayante Santarpananimittajaha. 
which are the names of the disease, Pramen, like uh, urinary problems, diabetes mellitus, Pedaka, diabetic carbuncles, coat, kandu skin diseases, Pandu, even anemic condition, Jwaraha, Kushthani, different skin diseases, Amu, Amadoshi, because of the indigestion uh, uh, toxin, Mutra Krichra, Arochaka, loss of appetite, Tandra, drowsiness, Klaibya, impotency, Atisthaulya, obesity, Alasya, Guru Gatra, the heaviness in the body, Indriya, Strutasam, Lepo, like covering and obstruction, Buddhe, Moha, Pramilakaha, your intelligence will not work properly, Shofa, Idima, Evam Vidhacha Anni, it's not only the things, any such type of the diseases, you get Anne Shigram, Apratiburvata, if you do not control your diet immediately, you do not start Langana Chikitsa, even you do not start the Deepan Pachin Chikitsa, that will create all these problems of overnourishment. Next category is Aputarpanajanya. That means undernourishment, deficiency diseases, protein deficiency, carbohydrate, fat deficiency, mineral deficiency, vitamin deficiency, according to Ayurveda also. Rasakshaya, Raktakshaya, Mamsakshaya, Medakshaya. These, all the Kshaya, Kshaya is not tuberculosis, deficiency. Deficiency of every uh, dhatus, that is Aputarpanajanya Vyadi. They, what you will loss, Kshaya means not tuberculosis. Parikshaya, loss. Dehagni, you will lose your fire. Bala, you will lose your strength. Varna, color and complexion. Oj, immunity. Shukra, your reproduction capacity. Mouse, muscle wasting, weight loss. Jwara, even fever will come. Fever is with Santarpanajanya also and Apatarpanajanya also. Kasa, cough problem like tuberculosis. Anubandhacha, Parshashulam, Arochaka, tubercular pleurisy. Shotra Darubalya, different Indriyas will be weak. Unma, the hysterical attacks. Pralapa, Rudhayavyatha, cardiac problem, ischemia. Vit, Mutra, Sangraha. That means Avashtam, constipation will be there. Shula, pain will be there. All over body pain will be there. Jangha, Uru, Trika, Samsharyam. This pain will be more over in these particular parts. Chest region, back region. Parav, Asthi, Sandhi, Vedha. You will get the lightning striking pain in the joints and the bones. Anne, Vata, Jaha, Gada. Predominantly, Apatarpana Janya Vyadhi will cause Dhatu Kshaya Janya Vata Prato. So there will be different neurological problems, musculoskeletal problems due to the deficiency. This is explained in Charak Sutra Sthana. Vyadhi Samprapti. How the pathogenesis takes place? That means Yatha Dushten Doshen Yatha Cha Anuvisar Pata Nivruttir Amesya Su Samprapti Hi Jati Hi Agati. These are the Pariyayana. Samprapti is pathogenesis in Ayurveda. How the dosha prakopi is taking place, how he is attacking on the dhatus, and how the disease is created. Yatha dushtena doshena, dushta dosh, prakupita dosh, anuvisarpata, they are moving in the body and catching the rakta dhatu, catching the mouse dhatu, and the disease is created, dosha dushta samurchana. Kha vayigunne is important. Kha means srota sa, body channels. It may be coronary blockages, it may be the renal artery problems, it may be the nervous conduction problem. So kha vayigunne. Kupitanami doshanam, sharire paridhavatam, yatra sangaha khavai gunyat, vyadis tatra upajayate. When the prakupita doshas are moving in the body, they find ah, where is where is the weak, weaker part? Is your blood is weak? Is your muscles are weak? Are their bones are weak? And they attack on that weak part, khavai gunyat. They try to found the structural deformities, congenital deformities, genetic deformities, and attack. Whenever the chance they get, they attack. And this is explained in this Vyadi Samprapta. Causes of Vata Prakop. How that particular Vata Prakop take place? Vata Prakop is two types. Sotarodhajanya and Mar that means Margavarodhajanya and Apatarpanajanya. That means Dhatukshajanya. One is obstructive phenomena, another is a deficiency phenomena. But these are the reasons why you get the muscle pain Back pain, neck pain, lumbago, sciatica, neurological problems, brain problems. These are all related with vata dosha, movement, irregular arrhythmia in the heart, dysnic condition. Balavat vigraha ativyaya. This is the most important. Hectic lifestyle, fast lifestyle. Vyavaya, excessive type of the sexual activity. Adhyana, too much thinking is also adhyana. Prapatana, falling, trauma, pradhavana. Propidana, Abhigat, Langana, excessive fasting, excessive dieting, Plavana, Pratarana, Ratri Jagarana, going late at bed, sleeping late at night, after 12 midnight, that is wrong. Bharaharana, 
गज तुरंग रथ पद अतिचर्या एक्सेसिव ट्रैवलिंग आयदर बाय साइकल्स मोटरसाइकल्स कार्स एरोप्लेन्स वेन एवर यू मेक एक्सेसिव ट्रैवलिंग दैट विल क्रिएट अ वातर प्रकोप देन इन द फूड कटु कषाय तिक्त कटु मीन्स पंजंट एक्सेसिव स्पाइसी कषाय एस्टिंजेंट तिक्त बिटर ड्राय रुक्ष नो फ्रेश फूड नो वॉटर नो बेवरेजेस लघु वेरी लाइट शीत वीर कोल्ड सब्सटन्स ऑलवेज एयर कंडीशनिंग ऑलवेज टेकिंग फ्रीज्ड फूड शुष्क शाक वल्लूर वरक उद्दालक द वेजिटेबल्स अवेलेबल एट दैट टाइम ऑफ चरक और सुश्रुत कोरुष दूष शामाक निवार मृतक मसूर ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ द पल्सेस एक्सेसिव टेकिंग दिज मूग मटकी दैट मीन्स वी इन मराठी इज फॉर कड़धान्य दैट इज वेरी लॉन्ग पीज स्पेशल आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट पीज पीज आर वेरी डेंजरस फॉर द डाइजेशन देन वॉट नेक्स्ट विषमाशन इरेग्युलर लाइफ स्टाइल इरेग्युलर फूड अध्यक्षन एक्सेसिव ईटिंग वात मूत्र पुरीश शुक्र छर्दी क्षवत उद्गार बाष्प वेक विघाता स्टॉपिंग द नैचुरल अर्जस दिस इज वेरी डेंजरस वेग अवधारण इफ यू आर हंग्री ईट इट इफ यू आर थर्स्टी ड्रिंक द वॉटर इफ हैविंग द यूरिनेशन सेंसेशन गो टू यूरिन इफ हैव द बॉवेल सेंसेशन गो टू एंड डू द स्टूल्स बट इफ यू press these natural urges like hunger thirst defecation urination that can create a problem in your body physiology and uh, the disease will form okay visheshayi vayu prakopam apadyante vayu prakop vata prakop so many seasonal problems also so sheet whenever there is rainy season abhra pravateshu dharmante ch visheshtah pratyushasi aparanhe ch jirne anne ch prakopyate whenever the food is totally digested in the late in the evening in the early in the morning these are the periods when the vata prakop can take place especially varsha rutu is a vata prakop kala so in rainy season ayurveda always advise to take some bastis to control this vata dosha the best treatment to control vata dosha is snehana and swedan that means oil massage and the fomentation but that depends whether the prakop is with the margavaruda janya or dhatu kshejan i hope the students and the doctors are liking this type of the shloka uh, recitation and also discussion and i hope you will continue with this series of ayurvedic shloka recitation this is shloka number 25 or uh, 24 we will meet you in the next video of shloka recitation thank you very much take care and please subscribe my youtube channel